Welcome to Integrative Medicine Perspective. I'm Dr. Wendy Liu. Uh, many people take B vitamin supplements to boost metabolism, reduce fatigue, and enhance energy. But is it possible that taking B vitamin supplements could be harmful? Let's discuss the relationship between B vitamin supplements and cancer. We'll start with the evidence supporting that B vitamin supplementation is harmful. Uh, first, a study on cancer patients in Denmark, totaling over 25,000 individuals, found that patients with blood vitamin B12 levels above 800 picomoles per liter had a significantly lower short-term survival rates, whether it was one year, 30 days, 30 to 90 days, 90 to 365 days, compared to cancer patients with normal vitamin B12 levels. While this does not confirm vitamin B12 itself causes cancer death, it suggests that uh, abnormal vitamin B12 metabolism may occur in cancer patients, and high blood levels of vitamin B12 could be a predictor of poor cancer prognosis, especially in the short term. Uh, next is a study involving the population of uh, the UK's primary care registry uh, with over 757,000 participants. The research found that individuals with vitamin B12 levels exceeding 1,000 picomoles per liter had a significantly higher short-term, within one year, cancer incidence compared to those with normal uh, vitamin B12 levels. This study implies that high blood levels of vitamin B12 could predict the short-term cancer risk. These two studies suggest that high blood levels of vitamin B12 could be used to predict the short-term risk of being diagnosed with cancer and the short-term risk of death in those already diagnosed with cancer. So this naturally raises the question, can vitamin B12 itself cause cancer? Um, so uh, this is uh, an epidemiological study analyzing the relationship between uh, long-term use of uh, B vitamins related to one carbon metabolism uh, and the risk of lung cancer. Um, these B vitamins include vitamin B6, uh, folic acid, and B12. One carbon metabolism is crucial for protein and nucleic acid synthesis. So these B vitamins, B6, B12, and folic acid uh, are uh, essential for cell division, growth, and maturation. Uh, this study found no significant association with supplementation of these B vitamins and lung cancer risks among the female population, but in men, especially smokers, um, the supplementation of vitamin B6 and B12 was associated with a high risk of lung cancer. In men, those with a daily intake of B6 exceeding 20 milligrams and B12 exceeding 55 micrograms had nearly twice the risk of lung cancer compared to those not taking B6 and B12. It is worth noting that uh, the daily recommended intake is 1.7 milligrams uh, for vitamin B6, 2.4 micrograms for vitamin B12, and 400 micrograms for folic acid. The doses of B vitamins in the commonly available B complex supplements are usually uh, much higher than the recommended intake. Another study is a randomized controlled clinical uh, trial involving nearly 7,000 Norwegian patients with ischemic heart disease. Uh, they were uh, randomly uh, divided into four groups, uh, folic acid plus vitamin B6 and B12, uh, folic acid plus vitamin B12, vitamin B6 alone, and a uh, control group with placebo. Uh, data analysis uh, showed that supplementation with folic acid plus vitamin B12 was associated with a high risk of cancer and overall mortality. It is important to note that Norway does not fortify its food with folic acid, unlike the United States, 
where fortification is widespread in foods like uh, flour, uh, white rice, and uh, breakfast uh, cereals. Another randomized controlled clinical trial initially aimed at studying the effect of uh, folic acid and vitamin B12 supplementation on fractures, but further data analysis revealed an association with a higher risk of a colorectal cancer. These studies seem to suggest that supplementation with vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and folic acid may increase the risk of cancer. But is there contradictory evidence to these conclusion? Let's take a look at two randomized controlled trials. One involved patients with cardiovascular disease with lower doses of B vitamin uh, compared to the two studies mentioned earlier. Uh, vitamin B6 intake was 3 mg daily, B12 was 20 microgram daily, and folic acid was 560 microgram daily. The study found that um, the relatively lower doses of B vitamin supplementation did not have a significant impact on cancer incidence, yielding a negative result. Another randomized controlled uh, study aimed to explore the impact of folic acid, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12 on preventing breast cancer. The study involved over 5,000 female healthcare workers randomly assigned to um, supplementation or a placebo. The results found no significant influence of folic acid, vitamin B6, and B12 supplementation on the incidence of breast cancer or invasive tumors. These are two negative studies showing no apparent cancer risks, uh, but also no preventative benefits. Uh, finally, let's discuss what is considered opposing evidence uh, that uh, may make people think B vitamin supplementation uh, could be beneficial in cancer prevention. Firstly, there is a systematic review that explored the relationship between vitamin B6, B12, and methionine intake and the occurrence of pancreatic cancer. Um, the analysis found a reverse correlation, higher levels correlated with lower incidence, suggesting a certain level of preventative effect between high vitamin B6 intake and high blood levels of active vitamin B6 and pancreatic cancer. Another systematic review studied the relationship between uh, vitamin B6, B12, and methionine intake and the occurrence of breast cancer. Um, the study uh, found a reverse relationship between the blood levels of active vitamin B6 and methionine intake and the risk of breast cancer. Uh, lastly, an epidemiological study investigated the relationship between intake of folic acid, methionine, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12, and the occurrence of esophageal and uh, gastric cancer. The study found that uh, low folic acid intake was associated with an increased risk of esophageal cancer. These studies may support uh, B vitamin supplementation on the surface. However, in my opinion, such conclusions may not be drawn from these studies. The indicators, measurements used in these studies differ significantly from the previous ones making their conclusions not directly comparable. The significant difference lies in the sources of B vitamins. In the last three studies, the source of B vitamins is mixed, both from food and supplements. And the ratio between food and supplement uh, sources is not clear. This contrasts uh, with the studies focusing purely on supplement intake. Due to the inclusion of food sources, which may be significant, I don't think the results of the last three studies can support the idea that B vitamin supplementation is beneficial for cancer prevention. From the perspective of B vitamin supplementation, whether from epidemiological studies or randomized controlled clinical trials, there's currently no evidence suggesting that B vitamin supplementation is beneficial for cancer prevention. On the contrary, it may even increase the risk of cancer. Therefore, unless there is a clear deficiency in B vitamins, 
supplementation is not recommended. That's all for today's discussion. Please leave comments and questions. See you next time.